Good evening, wonderful board members and all MJUSD friends, families, and coworkers. Tonight, I am honored to be representing Edgewater Elementary School, where we believe that teamwork makes the dream work. My name is Renee Henderson. I am the principal and in our audience is Greg Law, our new vice principal. Purpose of Edgewater Site Plan. Edgewater Elementary School has developed a, a school plan for student achievement, SIPSA, that meets the essential guidelines of the Every Student Succeeds Act by ensuring all children have an opportunity to receive a fair, equitable, and high quality education. We work to close educational achievement gaps most prevalent among students with disabilities, low income students, minority students, and English learners. Our plan directly aligns with the LCAP district goals, as you will see. California dashboard for the 2020-21 school year was the last public indicator. Edgewater used the following data to create our goals. Uh, 2021 LPAC summative data noted on the chart, you see that 11.63% of our students were a level four, 41.68 were level three. And in 2020, 42 students were reclassified. Our metric indicator for this year continue to reclassify students who meet the criteria and the site will increase the percent of students scoring threes and fours and the number of students proficient and above by 10% in each subgroup. Uh, academic data for the 2020-21 results. In ELA, 33.20% of our students met or exceeded standards. In mathematics, 19.52 met or exceeded standards. Our metric indicator this year is to increase the number of students proficient in advanced by 10% in ELA and math. All, and all areas, yellow and green on the dashboard for all subgroups. We will continue to look at attendance this year. Last year's attendance, we were at 94.4%. Our metric indicator will be to strive for 95% or greater attendance rate. Our school climate shows one suspension and no expulsions in 21-22. Metric indicator remain under three suspensions per year. The following is site-based assessment and data met metrics. 78% at or above grade level in Lexi in the spring of 2022, which is amazing considering what you see at the start. And the metric indicator is by spring of 2023, 83% of our students working on grade level, and we will increase EL and foster and low SES students by 10% in reading. Climate, culture, and family connection. Noting that approximately 50% of our SSTs were for behavior concerns in 2122, um, our metric indicator will be to reduce that amount by 25% with interventions available to students needing support through the SST process. In 2122, very few families checked out parents' resources in the library and attended Zoom meetings. The metric indicator for 2223 will have 75 to 100 families will attend each family night or event. Our back to school might already beat the school. Comprehensive need assessment. Edgewater collected data for a comprehensive need assessment in several ways. We gathered data over the 21-22 school year at PTO meetings, SSC committee meetings, ELAC meetings, and daily interactions on site and needs and success. District needs assessment results were used. Um, aspects of it to consider, increased participation rate to at least 60% when we give surveys. Sports and music and arts were very high priority for, uh, uh, for parents. So we're looking at starting a basketball team and band. Retaining high quality teachers was a concern. We've hired five new teachers and five new staff members. Social emotional learning support services in STEM are a concern. We'll continue working up towards those goals and student achievement through engaging instructional practices will be looked at through our goals with our PLCs. Goals in our SIPSA. To magnify LCAP goal one, Edgewater has fo the following goals and strategies that align with LCAP goal one. Maintain continuous professional learning communities where collaboration teams identify and will continue to review essential standards, curriculum analysis and alignment, and create, monitor, and plan instructional instruction based on data 
analysis by providing intervention opportunities, enrichment programs before, during, and after school. I have um, given the highlights of strategies one through eight within that goal. The strategies are listed below. One um, or two to point out is we are looking at providing paraeducators and substitute support interventions. Um, another one to point out is our, life, our literacy resource technician is vital to our growth in literacy through AR. She monitors and supports. Um, another one to point out would be the books that we're going to be purchasing for our AR rewards in the vending machine and looking at providing more books for um, multicultural and bilingual reading materials in our library. Aligning to goal two of our district, Edgewater has the following goals and strategies aligned to, that align with LCAP goal, goal two. Goal one, create an environment that addresses the physical, emotional, and safety needs of all students and staff. The highlights for this, these strategies, implement interventions for students with social and emotional needs during their grade level academic intervention time and during recess. And then we had to note that fund partial students service coordinator, which is our VP. We no longer do that through the site. Goal three, that aligns with our LCAP goal, prepare every student with the skills needed for college and career readiness. Here are the highlights for strategies one through three, improve academic performance by creating an academic system that addresses and engages the various identified needs through the work of PLCs, provide intervention, with extended learning time, provide during school and after school intervention to students who are performing below proficiency in ELA and math. Grade levels will have a common established intervention time and paraeducator support to provide be provided during that time. A counselor and outreach consultant will provide annual college and career week with presentations and information about college and careers, provide enrichment activities for students before and after school. Goal four of our LCAP, we aligned with our district LCAP. Goal four, build a system of specific support for our EL English learners, foster and low SES students to highlight strategies one through three, um, improve academic performance by creating an academic system that addresses and engages the various identified needs, provide workshops for EL, parents of ELs and increase library collection to meet the needs of students and supplement classroom instruction. Goal five, which is one we work on continually, is improve the meaningful school to home relationship. Highlighting strategies one through three, provide materials and the time for training sessions and resources for parents and homeschool acti activities. Provide parents with information, newsletters, calendars, phone calls to increase communication, provide family nights with activities for parents and students to do at home to increase academic performance. Edgewater's 2022-23 budget in our site plan total is $348,541. And you can see the breakdown of Title I targeted lottery, LCAT music, lottery science. Edgewater Showcase. At this time, I want to showcase our office staff. Edgewater's office staff is amazing. They are always friendly, helpful, and focus on student needs no matter what is going on. Thank you, Angelica, Rocio, and Bonnie. And I want to thank Hector Gonzalez for your support this past month. New to Edgewater this year, Shark Bites newsletter is now digital and live. I encourage you to take a look at it. It will be produced monthly. And as you can see, I will be showcasing all kinds of wonderful things going on like transitional, transitional kindergartner, um, student council campaign. We have PTO being showcased. We're back up and running fully. Um, community nights with parents that we're starting monthly. And we have a new counselor that you can read about. She's wonderful. And then we have a music program that we are going to be bolstering up this year. At this time, I want to thank you for being a great audience. I appreciate your time and have a great evening.